Hi, in today's short video, I will show you some of the examples that I created in Commodore Basic, and how you can create a disk image for it. In the comments you can find a link that you can use, to download the image. You can use this download to create your own real Commodore disk, and load the programs on on a real Commodore 64. You can also use it in an emulator like Vice. Once we have created the disk, and written the program files to it, we can then open the directory, list the disk content, and select a file to download. The first example is the laser bar basic program example that I have created earlier. So open the directory, select the file, load it into memory and run the program. I also added a number of different versions of a bouncing ball basic program on the disk. So let's just load one, and see how it looks on a real machine. Another classic basic program, that most of us would have seen in the 80s is probably the Wave 1 liner that is constructed, using a number of Petsky characters. For the fun of it, I also put that on the example disk. and up to the next program on the disk. I will not show them all here, if you want to see them in action, use the link to download the disk image. Here I load the color snake program. A small fun basic program I created that puts a colorful snake on the screen. So the last one that I will show here, before going to the how do they do that part of this video, is the basic program created to just show the principles of the breakout game. As you can see, it is pretty slow. I created this one not directly on a real machine, but using the emulator vice. That looked much faster than the real deal, so I think need to work on that later. It also shows, that testing it on real hardware is the only way to test the actual performance of a program. If you want to create a disk image that you can use in the emulator vice you need the following. First download and install the CBM program studio. Second you need to download and install the emulator vice. With these two programs you can create Commodore disk compatible program files that you can run in the vice emulator. If you not only, want to create the program files, but actually write them to a Commodore disk, then you need a little hardware, and additional software to transfer the created file to the disk. So let us create the first disk. Start the CBM program studio and open, or create a first basic program. Here I just open one that I created earlier, and use the generate program file option to save it in Commodore 64 file format. I connected the real Commodore 64 disk drive using a zoom floppy interface. Then I started the CBM file transfer program. I inserted a disk in the drive and used the format command to ensure it's empty and ready to use. Now we can transfer the created program files to the actual disk.
so that is all that is needed to save your own creation on a disk and use it on your Commodore. Thanks for watching.